So, if like me, you were a bit of a cheapskate when you bought your van roof skylight and you're a bit hot under the collar about it, then this vent fan hack may cool you down a bit. Okay, so if like me you're a bit of a cheapskate and didn't spend 300 to 350 quid on one of these bad boys, which is the Rolls Royce of Scarlet fans, the Max Air fan, it's remote control, it's got a fan going in and out, you can have it set so you can have it open when it's raining. Um, I bought just a simple uh, Fiamma Fent 400mm uh, square, it was about 60 quid, so a hell of a lot cheaper, but you know what? I wish I'd had a fan sometimes because I cook smelly food uh, sometimes and then in the summer it's nice to have some air coming in. So this hack solved this problem for me and it might be of use to you. Basically what I did is I fitted a car radiator fan into the aperture for the vent and it's done a really good job. The beauty of those car radiator fans is that they go both ways. I didn't know that. You swap the polarity and they'll go both ways. So with a selector switch you can get it go into uh, forward or reverse in other words sucking air out of the van if you've been doing some smelly cooking or bring fresh air in so uh, what do you need I, I mine cost about 13 quid off of ebay uh, it was um it's a seven inch van uh, you're also going to need a way to control the speed you just can't do it with a variable resistor you've got to have what's called a pulse width modulation circuit pwm they're about sort of four to five quid off ebay but I wanted ones with numbers on so I could see the percentage of speed. That was about seven or eight quid. Was not big money. And what I'll do is at the end of this video, I'll put a schematic diagram showing how to wire it up and um, just enough information that you can do your, your searches. Uh, a couple of switches, one to turn on and off and another one to select the direction, either air in or air out. So here's my control panel for my roof vent. The middle one's simply on and off switch. The right one's an ex a selector switch to do it put the air going out or put the air coming in. And the left hand one's the PWM controller. That's a pulse width modulation controller. Uh, I've gone all fancy, got one with numbers attached. So I can actually see how fast I've got it. 43%, 57%, 75%, all the way down to 47%, 18% tick over at six percent so let's take a look on how i fix that in then um now i've taken the screen off uh so you can get a better look and first thing we can see is that my skylight needs to get damn good clean now before we uh, zoom in have a look at the actual f uh, how it's actually fixed up there um another reason i like this hack better than the actual maxar uh, rolls royce jobby is because actually it doesn't obscure much of the actual skylight. It's still loads of light coming in. It's not taking much real estate, which is really good. And uh, the good thing about these fans is they come with um, fitting brackets on them. So uh, it was quite easy just to find a way of fitting it into the structure of the Fiamma vent. So no problem at all. And you can, if I zoom in here, you can see how I've actually uh, screwed it on. So let's uh, see it working, shall we? Okay, so I've got it on 12% uh, and you see it's um, set so that it's uh, air going in. Have a look, ticking over very slowly there. Just got the roof vent cracked a little bit. So that might be how you want to sleep in the summer. Just have that roof vent cracked open a little and uh, nice and gentle. Okay, 90%. I don't know if you can hear me over the roar of the fan. That's like a tornado coming in now. A sign flapping away there. Turning it down. And this is another reason I like this hack better than the Rolls Royce Max R. You can get a lot more air transfer. <laughs> It's a great hack. Okay, just a little bit more about these radiator fans in the cheapest chip on eBay. Um, mine was a seven inch. Uh, and you'll see on the label in here, it says 80 watts, which is about what, six and a half amps at 12 volts, isn't it? Uh, when I was first playing with this hack on the bench, I had a five, I think it's a five amp 
PWM controller and sure enough it was struggling to start. I could get it going but I had to start very slowly and work my way up. And in fact I think the starting, the surge start ampage on these fans uh, is more like sort of um, 7 or 8 amps. So uh, make sure you get plenty of capacity in your PWM controller. Mine's a 12 amp so there's loads of capacity there. I mean they are cheap so don't skimp on that one. So there you go, uh, I, I mean really it's a really good hack, I'm just so glad I didn't rip my Fiamma out and buy an expensive Max, uh, Max Air because actually I think I, this is a better solution for me. Um, so what I'll do is at the end of the vid, um, after these obligatory like and subscribe page, I've got a rough schematic diagram to show you um, what the whole thing looks like but you've probably worked it out and if you have a go I hope it works for you. Catch you later.